A Delaware County woman is facing sexual assault charges. She's accused of having sex with a teenage boy and not just once. Joe Holden is in media with the disturbing details. Joe. Yuki, this is sending shockwaves through the dance community here in Delaware County. This dance instructor now turned defendant in some serious trouble tonight, accused of preying on one of her students. Investigators say an alert mother noticed dramatic changes in her teen son's behavior, hinting something was seriously off. He started having problems in school, uh, problems uh, in terms of substances that he was using, uh, and the family rightly brought this to the attention of law enforcement. Turns out prosecutors say he was involved in a sexual relationship with an Aston area dance instructor. Arrest papers identify as Carly Marie Green. The allegations claim the two began having sex as many as 50 times in the spring of 2018. Police say at that time he was 15 years old. She used that relationship, the student teacher relationship, um, to develop uh, a sexual relationship which is um, illegal. Court documents show the pair had sex at Green's Aston home and at this studio, which police identified as dance obsessions. That's where they say the two researched the age of consent in Pennsylvania and even talked about birth control, the defendant's latex allergy, and if she could be arrested for corruption of minors. Investigators say the pair also exchanged nude images over Snapchat. An attorney representing Green declined to comment for this story. A phone message seeking comment at the dance studio was not immediately returned. Green was arraigned on charges of statutory sex assault, an account of having sexual intercourse with a student. The law is very clear. Uh, people, adults, cannot prey on children for sexual gratification. That's exactly what we've charged this woman having done to this young man. And at this point, we've learned that the defendant, Carly Marie Green, also taught dance at other studios. Prosecutors tell CBS3 at this moment there is no evidence to suggest a pattern that there could be more accusers, but their work continues as the investigation now goes forward. Underlining the fact that her attorney declined to comment for this story. We're live outside the Delaware County Courthouse in media. This is Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe.